Hello ladies and gentlemen, Yo. it's Ulan Gaming, and I heard you've had some trouble dealing with Margit the Fell Omen. Uh, well, I am here to show you how to deal with all of his moves uh, from the perspective of somebody who doesn't roll all the damn time. I I've seen a couple guides for Margit, and they all seem to be focused around like, hey, roll this time during this attack, but not everybody rolls at all times. Some people like to play the slow tank build like myself in this particular fight. So, uh, that that guide isn't super helpful. So, uh, I was able Definitely to beat Margit fat rolling and using a great sword. And I ended up learning pretty much his entire moveset. Uh, so, with that in mind, here is my guide. Let it be Margit the, fell. the first attack I'll go over with Margit is this double projectile attack from far away. This one is super easy to avoid uh, simply by sidestepping. However, if you are fat rolling, if you are too close to him, you will not be able to sidestep these and you will need to roll. Additionally, semi-frequently, I'd say about a third of the time, uh, he will follow the double dagger slash, uh, the, the, the double dagger throw, with a upwards jump into a downwards thrust into the ground. This is our best opening in the entire fight to damage him. Uh, Margit is extremely open during this attack, uh, because the hitbox and area of effect on this attack is hilariously small. You can basically just back up a couple feet and then start charging an attack before, uh, start charging a heavy attack before it even lands, and it will, uh, hit Margit right as he hits the ground and you won't be hit at all. He also does this attack for neutral pretty regularly if you're standing a certain distance from him. Uh, but while we're talking about this attack, I want to take a break and it's talk about the uh, way that we are going to be damaging him throughout the fight, specifically with heavy weapons in mind, because I haven't used any of the faster weapons yet. Um, the goal of the heavy weapons is to continuously use the charged attacks and the jump attacks to break down his uh, to, to to break down his uh, stance and get him into a staggerable position so that we can repost him. And this attack here, the jump attack, is one of our best opportunities to do this. Through the use of one charge heavy and one jump heavy, which you can get as a punish for just the uh, jump attack that we mentioned before, uh, completely safely, uh, you can follow this with either a counter attack or a second charged heavy after his next attack to get a guaranteed stagger from him every single time. So that all creates your flow as a heavy weapon user when you're fighting Margit. Charged heavy attack, jump heavy, charged heavy attack, or charged heavy attack, jump heavy, counter attack. Here's a good opening. Yeah, there we go. Best possible start. Come on, throw your little daggers. Throw your little daggers. Do it. Yeah. Yes! This is a start. Market will occasionally enter a stance where he holds his weapon above his head. Uh, from this stance, he can do two attacks, one where he dashes towards you and does a double slash, uh, both of which can be uh, dodged or blocked regardless of if you are fat rolling or not, uh, and is best punished with a counter attack, or the other is if you are very close to him, he will instead uh, just do a downward slam into the ground in an attempt to break your guard, uh, which you can easily strafe and punish with a fully charged heavy attack. One of Margit's chain starters is an uppercut, uh, a very quick uppercut, 
that he can transition into a downward slam, which, uh, much like the previous attack, can be easily strafed and punished with a fully charged R2. Another common distance closer from Margit is this attack here, where he throws a dagger, follows it by a uh, forward dash attack, and then follows that with a thrust into the ground. Uh, whenever you see this thrust into the ground, it is easily strafed and punished by uh, a head charge R2. Uh, this attack can be avoided through the sequence of blocking the first two attacks and strafing the third. Sometimes, either as a chain starter or uh, in the middle of a combo, Margit will do the double slash with his light daggers right in front of your face. Uh, and then from here, he can follow it with a full, uh, full on heavy strike from the top, which can be strafed and punished in the usual manner. Uh, but this is the best case scenario and is not often what he does. Uh, very often, he will do the double slash and then continue with fast combos that are unpunishable. Uh, with slow weapons, or he will straight up retreat, uh, which means in worst case scenario he can keep up a very fast combo going for a very long time that you as a heavy class will be uh, very hard pressed to punish. This is the worst case scenario with Margit, and you need to focus on staying the distance so that you can force him to do his openers where you are uh, more likely to be able to punish him easier. When Margit is doing his long strings of combos, uh, both melee and magical, do your best to uh, block the melee, dodge the magical, and just try to create distance for yourself, or wait for him to distance himself so that you can reset and keep trying to get these attacks that we've already talked about. Uh, if you see a slow attack, try strafing to the left or right and punishing it with a fully charged R2. When Margit loses about a third of his HP, he is going to uh, do a slash and then jump backwards. And from here, he will pull out his hammer, say some lines, and jump straight into the air for a massive AoE, thus starting his second phase. Uh, in the second phase, he will incorporate his hammer into his combos, as well as a magic sword, and gain a whole new set of combos, some of which are very, very devastating. Other people will tell you on their guides that uh, the hammer is easily dodgeable and therefore you can get a couple quick R1s in there, but uh, that is not actually the best way to punish as a heavy class because you know, we, what we need to focus on is dealing lots of poise damage to Margit. Uh, so what actually is the case is um, instead of dodging, you can actually jump over the AoE and as long as you don't jump through the hammer itself, you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, and so you can back up a couple feet, and then right before the hammer strikes, you jump up in the air, and then you get a free aerial R2 on Mariette. During the second phase, if you get caught right next to Margit, he will do his endless combos on you and string them together without any hesitation, and it will be a death sentence if you are a heavy character. Uh, a lot of these combos are way too long and drawn out for me to go into too in detail here, uh, but I will cover one in particular uh, that I have titled the Pontiff Sullivan Ain't Got Nothing On Me Bitch combo. The combo starts out with two light sword slashes, followed by a uh, downward thrust with the uh, physical weapon. And from there, what happens depends on what you do. If you block, the uh, downward thrust, your guard will likely be broken, and he will follow with a special riposte animation uh, where he crosscuts you with the um, sword and the staff he has. Alternatively, if you dodge the downward thrust into the ground, uh, he will follow with a very quick dagger slash that you will get hit by unless you block uh, immediately out of your roll. Uh, and then follow this with a double slash uh, using the staff and the hammer. And that is the end of the combo, but he will often follow it anyways with a dash attack. After the dash attack comes a thrust, which you might be able to punish if you get some RNG blessings. Otherwise, it could look like this, where he just continues anyways, even though it used to be a finisher in the first phase. going. Yep. Dude, it's not over? How long is that fucking combo? 
It's not- I thought it was over after the hammer, but it's not. After the hammer, he does a lunging strike. Needless to say, this move got me pretty salty. Pretty much once he enters the second phase, as long as you can survive the first part of it, uh, you should pull out one of your summons from the summoning bell and uh, let them take RNG, move to his back, and spam heavy attacks and hope you get the RNG you need to uh, drain his health bar down fast enough. Enjoy the rest of this fight.